welcome back to the channel. We are trying to be way more on top of it this year, so here's another video for you guys. Wow. This one, I'm shooting with the Mamiya RZ67, which I just recently got, so I have not put too many rolls through it whatsoever. But today, we're mostly just gonna be walking around Moro, shooting a little bit and talking about Moro a bit. So yeah, we're just gonna have a grand old time. <laughs> so come on. Guys, I'm still very new at this camera, so it takes me a hot minute to set up the scene. But I always try and get the smokestacks in any chance that I can because I heard this terrible rumor that tomorrow may be taking them out in the next few years. So, gotta get them in while I can because I'm obsessed and they've been here since I was a child. So, gotta take all the pics. can't breathe. Just gotta make sure I don't get it all squiggly, out of focus. So I started coming here in 2019 when I got my Leica M6 and I basically was coming here every single morning to just shoot sunrise, shoot sunset, started coming in the middle of the day. Then in 2020 I decided to get my first medium format camera. I got the Mamiya 7.2 and that just really like opened up a whole new world for me for trying out new compositions just getting a cleaner negative so i loved coming back tomorrow i'm from the central coast of california and before i started shooting in 2019 i really was bored of it and i didn't want to live here whatsoever and as soon as i started picking up cameras i ended up coming back tomorrow all the time because I really feel like it gave me a new eye and made me see how beautiful this place truly is, which is really obvious because there's even photographers now that I follow that come to this area all the time and it's just so wild to me because I lived here for so many years and never even thought to shoot it. So that is one of the reasons that I'm definitely drawn to Moro and coming back. I go up and down the coast all the time, but Moro is only, it's not too far away from me. so. Yeah, it's really easy to come in sun for sunrise, for sunset, and it's a place I hold true. During 2020 when things were kind of because of COVID, I came here like all the time because it was like one of the only things that we could do. So yeah, I love this place. Possible. Mm, not used to this lens, it's so freaking close. No, I changed my mind. No. I started shooting solely on black and white. So when I first started shooting here, I shot basically all black and white and then I slowly transitioned to a lot of color, which I have been loving for some time now, but I'm kind of like hitting this point again where I feel like I'm almost too color dependent a little bit with my shots. So like if the sunrise isn't great, then like my shots aren't gonna be good. So I'm kind of like slowly transi transitioning back to wanting to shoot a little bit more black and white where it's more dependent on compositions and bringing in different aspects to the shot versus, oh my gosh, the colors aren't perfect right now. <laughs> so hopefully I will start incorporating that back in and using it maybe even like half and half of the time. So we'll see. I got this RZ, like I said, not too long ago. I probably only put four rolls through it. And you guys, it is not as easy as it looks. And you RZ shooters out there probably laughing in my face right now. But because everything is inverted with the setup, it makes it really tricky to set up a good comp. And I know that you can get like attachments to reverse that and to make it better, but because I'm so stubborn, I really am trying to figure it out this way first. So I have some fun little shoots I'm setting up soon with some friends that I'm gonna be shooting on this guy. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna stick it out, but if I keep struggling, I may have to get the attachment, but we'll see. Hold 
that tight, baby. Let's go. I have to say, um, one pro already of the Mamiya 72 over this boy is, which I knew when I bought it, but this boy's a chunk us and my arm is already broken. And my Mamiya 72, I can take it with me everywhere, any trip, take it with me abroad for every single place I've been to. So, you guys, if you're gonna buy this, it's great. It's really, really heavy. So if you wanna get jacked, then highly recommend. Hopefully this turns out. I wish I didn't have the 800 in also. Right now, I wasn't thinking. Here we go. Pray for me. Put out all the good vibes. I do like about this though, even more so than my Mamiya 7.2 because I'm struggling so much with the composition, it's making me really think about the composition. And I'm already kind of a little bit more like that with medium format because, you know, money and only like 10 to 12 shots. But with this guy, it really is making me actually think so much about my composition and set it up. So that's pretty helpful. Are there any other spots on the Central Coast that you like going? Yeah. I love going to, do I, do I really give away my spots? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, there's places in you Slow I like. I don't know if I'll name them all completely, but if you want to go on a photo walk with me, then I'll take you there. <laughs> so hit me up. Um, everyone knows Pismo, so Pismo for sunrise is fun. Um, we're really not far away from Big Sur, so if you just start heading up the coast that way, it's incredible all over there up to like Carmel. No, 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 no. Cambridge. Cambridge, Carmel. I've I lived know. here for my whole life and I'm blanking on these. To my last shot, ladies and gentlemen. Doodaloo! Okay, anyways, moving on. Here we go. Um, I think I'm gonna overexpose this one stop because it got a little shady. Shady scene, am I right? Oh my god, dear lord. Help me, everyone. Help me! Help me! <laughs> you guys are probably so excited to see these shots to be like, oh my god, she actually sucks. You might be right, but it's fine. At least I'm giving it a whirl. Street shooting at the same time because I couldn't tell in here if that Boochcraft can was in it or not, but it is. I have Porsche 800 in here, like I told you guys, which I'm really wanting some black and white in there right now because it's way too bright for Porsche 800 and I'm just not vibing with it. And I just recently watched a YouTube video. Maybe we could plank it somewhere um poly b and he did a walkie talkie with ruben ratting and he was talking about how alex webb actually told him to stop shooting color and so now he just shoots black and white and parts of me are sometimes like hey i want to go one of those routes but then again i love shooting both just thinking out loud here off 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 switch this back I actually shot that whole roll in vertical mode because I felt vertical today. So that's what happened. Everyone's favorite part. But do I really want to take it out right now? Mm. Should I? I don't know. That's the end. <laughs>